this is Sharon Brennan. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator, also known as the Cottage Lane Stamper. Um, today I wanted to demonstrate how to use the envelope punch board. Um, if you have Stampin' Ups, that's wonderful. If you don't, I happened to buy mine before I became a demonstrator, so mine is a We Are Memory Keepers one. You can tell the difference just by looking at them. Uh, the Stampin' Up one has more of a taupe button here and the instructions are more in taupe. The other difference is that Stampin' Ups has the dimensions for making an envelope for our regular A2 cards. These are our regular A2 envelopes. You can buy these through Stampin' Up. Um, the We Are Memory Board Keepers one does not have this. So what I've done is I've made a little label and put it on mine as to the correct size paper I need, where to score it, and I also put down the size of the card, so I don't know if you can zoom in a little bit there. So it says A2, just a regular card. Our A2 cards are four and a quarter by five and a half, and the paper size I need which is eight by eight, and I would score at three and a half. The Memory Keepers one does say A2 on it, right here, but if you can see that, get a little bit of a glare. Um, their card that they're calling A2 is four and a half instead of four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's why I have my little label, I don't have to guess. I could just look at that. Because sometimes you want to maybe make a, a card envelope that's a little, a different color. Maybe in some DSP, some real subtle DSP, or just something to match your card besides whiter um, vanilla. Anyway, we are going to make a gift card envelope today. And it says on here for us to start with, I'll show you where it says it gift card um, right here and we're gonna and that is a two by three and a half inch card and we're gonna need a piece of sheet of paper five by five and our first score mark is gonna be at two inches and we'll take out our handy scoring tool that comes included in the the punch board which is very nice it says we're going to score our first score lines at two so we're going to line our paper up at the two inch mark there and we're going to punch this and then we're going to score so i don't know if you can see where that score line is but you stick your little tool in here in here and line, and line it up against there and bring it down and make your first score mark. Now I need to turn it around so I can do the rest of the size. So we're going to, now we don't look at the measurements anymore. Okay, now we're going to line it up at the score mark. You see right there? With this little arrow. That's my table. I work on a folding table. It's the only size I can get in my loft, which is my craft room. Um, so please pardon the extra little squeaks. And my chair squeaks too. So, and it's brand new, actually. Um, now we're going to use a little slot at the back and make our corners round. We'll slide it in there. Punch it. Now we're 
Okay, set that aside. And we're going to use our little bone folder here to burnish the score lines. Now, on colored paper, you want your valley, which is where we scored, you can see that there, to the inside. If you're using white or vanilla paper, you want your valley to the outside. This is colored cardstock, so we're going to burnish this line and burnish this line and burnish this line. Now, um, I did make a different gift card envelope um, with the same, it's the same size and everything scored, everything is the same, except for on the back, instead of folding it like this, I folded it like this and cut this one off. Just to be a little different, and it actually has a little finger hole in here too, so you can grab the card. We're going to do some with the belly band today. So now we're going to put some adhesive on here. And let's see. We don't want it up here at all. We're just going to do it on the bottom parts. And I'm using damp Tombow. I would recommend a strong adhesive so it doesn't give way. Um, snail probably isn't strong enough, so fast fuse, Tombow, if you can get it out, <laughs> and not a whole lot because you don't want it to squeeze out the sides. But if that happens, we do have a tool for that. It's called the Adhesive Eraser. It's really great for taking um, glue off your cards, and it does take a little bit more to set up. This should be good. Now we're going to make a belly band, and this is going to be a Christmas one. Um, so we're going to take a piece of paper that is eight and a half or eight inches long by three quarters inch wide, and we're going to turn our card over. Turn this over. This is a great way to use up your extra strips of DSP. Now we're going to wrap it around because we want the seam in the front and that way our embellishment will cover the seam. And don't wrap this too tightly because you want to be able to get it off of your envelope and you want to be able to get your gift card in there. So we're going to use a little bit of Tombow again. A multi-purpose glue. That's what it's called in our catalog. This is a two and three eighths inch scallop punch, and this is our two inch circle punch. And I'm going to use a little snail on this. part here on the top and just put your finger on there and we're going to use a couple I already pre-cut out one of the little houses from our candy cane lane DSP a couple dimensionals on the back of that and supply information on my blog. I'm going to use a glue dot for one of these. We'll put that here. And a dimensional for the other one. Now, the 
the Starlight Mint, I use the half inch circle punch to punch them out. Works pretty good. We're going to put that there. And we're going to bring our gift card envelope back in. And we're going to put a little snail on the back of this. See, I did it again.